Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nikesh and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been uploading videos related to learning English and in this video I'm going to talk about IELTS speaking test, okay? So first of all I'll talk about uh, the parts uh, sorry, first I'll talk about the duration of this test, how long this test is, then I'll talk about the parts of IELTS speaking test, okay, what parts are there, okay, how many parts and what kind of questions you can expect in all these parts, and then I'll talk about why they have designed such test, okay, <clears throat> sorry, so let's start this video, okay, so first of all, IELTS speaking test is about 11 to 14 minutes long, okay? So what does it mean that if you give fine answers, maybe it'll take or it'll finish in 10 minutes. <clears throat> Sorry, if you give good answers, maybe it, it'll take 11 to 12 minutes. If you give really good answers, maybe it'll finish in 14 minutes. But if you give, you know, uh, great answers I guess then it might take 15 minutes 16 minutes and in some cases maybe 19 minutes I've heard from students that uh, they said this are our speaking test lasts for almost 19 minutes and that student also got 7.5 in speaking okay so it depends it depends uh, on your answers okay now let's move on and talk about the parts of this test, okay? So there are three parts of IELTS speaking test. Part one, part two, and part three, okay? Now, let's talk about what kind of questions are there and what kind of parts are these, okay? So part one is called introduction part, okay? Here, uh, the examiner will ask you some questions related to your life, okay? And questions you uh, can expect, or sorry, the topics you can expect like, you can accept like, expect like uh, free time, movies, okay, holiday, hobbies, color, okay, sports. So these kind of uh, uh, topics you can expect in part one. And uh, the questions would be related to your life. For example, if the topic is sports, then the question might be what games are popular in your country, okay? And uh, how can someone learn these games in your country? And what is your favorite game? How long have you been playing this game and why? Why is normally, you know, always there in, in IELTS, okay? So if you're going to take IELTS uh, test, then make sure to include reasons in your answer, okay? Now, these are simple questions related to your life. Now, if I talk about part two, okay? Now, part two is what we call long term. Why? Because here, the examiner will give you one task or one cue card, okay, or one topic, and he'll give you one minute to prepare whatever you're going to say. He'll also give you a paper and a pen to make some notes if you wish to within one minute, okay? And afterwards, he'll allow you to speak on this topic for up to two minutes, okay? I've seen uh, if you take this test in an abroad country, like I took it in China long time ago, there they gave me actually two to three minutes, but now usually I've seen on, and also it is mentioned on their website, that they only allow two minutes to describe part two question, okay? So here, uh, I'll, I, I, actually in the next videos, I'll talk about how you can reply to these questions, okay? Here, I'll just focus on the introduction and why they have designed such kind of tests and these kind of parts, okay? Now, let's move on to part three. Part three is actually a two-way discussion uh, part. Uh, it is mentioned that it is a two-way discussion, but I think it is not because the examiner is just asking you some questions, okay? And all these questions are related to part two. For example, uh, in the part two, if the question was describe uh, an historical building, okay? So here in the part three, the questions would be related to historical places or historical buildings, okay? Now in part three, you need to give a bit longer answers, okay? In part one, you can give short answers, does not matter. 
part two you need to speak for two to three minutes but we can say actually two minutes okay and in part three you need to give your opinion about something because it's a discussion session remember it's a discussion session so you need to give your opinion about the questions or about the topics okay now next question and the third part of this video I'm going to talk about why they have designed such kind of tests okay after all they need to see if you can communicate well in English or not and that's why they have designed IELTS test okay anyone who's going abroad he needs to take this test okay now if I talk about part one part one as I said earlier it's an introduction part okay so in this part the examiner or whoever is listening your uh, recording he is looking for you know to see uh, he is looking to see if you can introduce yourself well in English okay for example when someone goes abroad again okay, there he would be you know talking with his classmates or with his friends or with the people he work with okay there he would be introducing himself like he'll talking about uh, uh, for example his favorite tourist uh, uh, attractions okay his favorite historical places his hobbies okay his favorite games and there he will be introducing himself so that's why they have designed part one to see if you can introduce yourself well in English or not okay now second part second part why it is there okay to understand it let's consider a situation for example you are already in, 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 in a foreign country let's consider you are in UK or in Australia or in America or wherever okay let's consider you are in UK okay so there one day you are traveling on subway and you know while traveling you put your uh, passport in your left pocket and uh, you know once you enter in the subway train you you found out that there, there were so many people so you forgot to, uh, to to see if your passport is still there or not now once you go out from the subway you just sit uh, in your uh, in your pocket and you found out that uh, your passport is missing okay now you went back to the subway authorities and they asked what happened there you need to explain whatever has happened and then they send you to the police station okay now you are in the police station let's consider this one okay now the police guy he asked you what happened here you need to tell him the whole story whatever has happened for example you will start something like this okay well uh, today in the morning I got on uh, to the subway uh, from Edinburgh station and I was going to the downtown station again okay? and uh, Once I got on the subway train. I found out there were so many people so uh, It was a morning time so I couldn't find a proper place to sit down So I was standing in the corner and I didn't realize that uh, you know, I had my passport in my left pocket Okay, so once I go out of the subway station at the downtown station where I, I, I wanted to leave the, uh, the subway train, okay, I didn't check my passport if it, if it was still there in my pocket or not. So once I go out of the subway, I checked in my left pocket and there was nothing. So I was shocked. I went back uh, to the subway station and I talked with the authorities over there and I told them, <coughs> sorry, I told them that I have lost my passport somewhere on the train so please help me to find it uh, find out and they told me to go to the police station I should uh, go to the police station and file an FIR and I should bring a copy of that FIR show it to the subway authorities and afterwards they'll help me to find out okay now here you have told them the whole story whatever has happened with you okay so this is actually part two they want to see if you can describe a topic here we described an incident that happened with you okay so here they are looking for if you can describe some incident or describe a story or whatever in this part okay because you might face such situations in abroad that's why they have designed part two if you can speak frequently on a topic or how well you can describe something or anyone okay so that's why they have designed part two now if I talk about part three why they have designed part three okay so if you are a student and you are going abroad for higher education 
they're uh, especially the research students like they're, they're going to do masters and phd there they would be writing you know research proposals for the projects or for their dissertation for their thesis work or whatever okay so there they need to convince to the authority that whatever they are proposing it has some worth and in this case they need to give their opinion about something for example my research field is wave energy okay so when i was uh, defending my thesis proposal i had to give opinions and ideas and justify them that this topic has uh, significance in real life and it could be used to you know uh, produce a lot of energy that would be really helpful okay so there i give my opinion about something for example i said well, in my opinion, wave energy is the future of energy. Uh, first of all, it is always there. So we can uh, extract this energy 24 over 7 all the time. Okay, It is cheap, environmental friendly as it is a renewable, renewable uh, form of energy. Okay, And especially in the coastal cities, we can use these uh, devices over there. So, uh, we, you know, they can cover uh, the whole... Uh, cities energy requirements whatever okay so there you need to give your opinion your ideas organize them well in proper English so that's why they have designed part 3 even if you are going there for work there you need to give maybe some presentations or give your opinion about something for example if you're working in a restaurant in an in a, in a English speaking country there you know you have a meeting with the staff and uh, you know the manager asks you what is the problem why we do not have many clients these days okay so you may simply say well according to me uh, our food is not good so we need to work on food that's why we do not have uh, good clients okay so that's why they have designed such parts i hope you understand in the next videos i'll record more videos about you know the the, the mock test of ielts so i'll see you in the next videos bye bye